2010 NCAA Tournament first round action in Spokane, Washington. Saw the chalk hold up. It's the only region that did. As you take a look at Texas A&M advancing, getting past Utah State and Purdue beating Siena. So the four and five seeds will play on Sunday. Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski, and Mike, you look at really what happened in that first game, and it was Purdue's defense. Kramer just uh, digging in and got some help from Etwan Moore inside, and that was the difference in that matchup. Well, and I think, too, that they, they found some scores. A key grand stand up, and uh, Juwan Johnson was, was really terrific in the low post, was an anchor for them, cleaned up a lot of mistakes. We know he's going to do that defensively, but he really stepped up and, and scored and passed inside, was a force, and uh, a smaller Siena team really had no answer for him. And that's the thing that's interesting that uh, for the uh, defensive-minded teams, the offense really showed up. Chris Middleton really gave Texas A&M a big lift. They needed to find somebody other than Donald Sloan to carry the load. Well, if Middleton is making shots, that certainly provides a difference for Mark Turgeon's team. So the, the big question has to be, are there too many scoring options for Texas A&M for Purdue to deal with? Uh, it, would, it would appear that way, but again, with, with Keaton Grant, they need to find Kramer's going to have to step up and score as well. But right now, you look on the offensive end, mm -hmm. I think that Texas A&M is a little better suited to, to put some points on the board. In our nighttime session, again, the four and five seeds were able to whole serve. As you see, Maryland advancing past Houston. And it was one of those uh, fast-paced games and Michigan State, the five seed, having to fight off probably the most competitive game of our entire session against New Mexico State. And a tough call late in the game, a lane violation, perhaps was a difference maker for the Aggies of New Mexico but State. When you, but when you have great players step up, that makes the difference. And Kalen Lucas really did that for Michigan State, a career-high 29 points. He could really sense his team struggling offensively in the second half. So he got much more aggressive and doing the little things here to prolong possessions. But uh, last year's player of the year in the Big Ten and the first teamer this year really stepped up. No doubt about it. They needed him, too, to play big as they got out to that early lead and then staved off New Mexico State's run. Jordan Williams was just a beast in game two against Houston. 21 points and 17 rebounds. Another game where the centers stepped up and really took charge, and uh, he really plays well out of their flex defense. He blocked a few shots inside, but uh, really Houston, a three-point shooting team, didn't have anybody with the presence to consistently no. match him inside. But uh, guess what? Michigan State does. That's, yeah. a, that's a heck of a matchup between Gary Williams and Tom Izzo, both with national titles and final four appearances abound. And, and I would expect that Gravis Vasquez was understated in this win today. I would expect him to step up and really be a leader offensively for this team. It'll be an entertaining Sunday, don't you think? Oh, two great games. They held serve in Spokane. It was the only region that did in the 2000 NCAA tournament. We'll see you on Sunday.